for the actual Olympics itself, the preparation is our actual job. Uh, all the events that we have today for the competition are just things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis when we're working aids to navigation or in, or in the damage control realm. I'll give you an example, the heat and beat is a contest where essentially we use uh, the same teams of guys that would normally be doing it in the field to actually come and, and beat on the shackle, uh, which is normally a method we use to link uh, shot the chain together. By using a shackle, you heat up the pin and then you essentially beat on it with hammers until it flattens it out and effectively holds the chain together. That's something we do two, three, four, five times a week uh, when we're actually out there on the water working aids to navigation. Uh, but there's a great deal of pride in being the best at it. So here we have five, five different teams out here today that are competing to do what they do day in and day out but to show off and a little, a little method of showmanship and, uh, and camaraderie and competition out here to show that uh, you know, we are there the best at it. There's a great deal of excitement with it because you're dealing with uh, your peers. And, you're deal and every time we, uh, we go out there and operate, there's, you know, there's four ships on the West Coast, two 175s and two 225s, doing the same operations, but we don't normally get to work side by side with each other. So we come to a workshop like this and it gives us kind of a, an opportunity to go out there and show what you do and that, you know, ideally you do it best. Uh, so there's a great deal of excitement because, again, you're, you're, you're getting a chance to show what you do in front of your peers. And then obviously there's a great deal of bag bragging rights that go along with it. And there's also obviously beyond the competition aspect of it, it's the camaraderie and the, and the exchange of information. Somebody might do something completely different than you, and in that case, if, especially if it turns out to be the winning solution, it might be something that maybe, hey, we, we haven't done that before, but now it's something that we might be able to take back to the field with us um, when we go back out there and work aids on Columbia Bar and elsewhere. Well, it's important to note that, I mean, the actual Olympic events are one afternoon of a four-day conference. Uh, the, entire, the entire workshop offers, a, a, what it offers in, in, in addition to the camaraderie and the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with your peers out there doing your job in the field, uh, you also have an opportunity to bring people in from Yorktown. We have people here from headquarters. We have people here from Canada. Uh, we have industry partners here that actually build the lights that we use on our buoys. Having the opportunity for them to come down here and talk to us and engage with them, um, we get opportunity to learn best practices, share our best practices, and uh, hopefully go back into the fleet and do a better job because, and, and be better for the, the opportunity to meet with all of our partners down here. I uh, did the heat beat. I was the uh, torch man heating up the pin for them and it's uh, pretty much all I got to get my hands on today. Trying to set everything up for everybody else though. Uh, I hated for two teams today. Yeah, we learned a lot. We learned a lot through the classes. Uh, stress management and all that fun stuff. It's kind of funny because we do have a stressful job. It's very dangerous. There's a lot of things going on at one time. A lot of weight moving around on the buoy deck and we just have to keep our heads about us to make sure that uh, everybody's in the place that they're supposed to be. Everybody looks out for everybody. Absolutely. It's an honor to represent our ship in the Blue Tent Roundup. I mean, you know, the Aspen's got a good reputation. I'm just glad I got to be a part of it this time. Absolutely. Uh, when we found out that we were going to come out here, uh, everybody was real excited. Everybody was happy to participate. Uh, it, it's a great situation. Uh, everybody gets to really meet other cutters and really experience what they get to go through.
Golden Swivel wins with 17 points. Congratulations. Yeah.